Hello there, welcome back to my channel. I am Leo Bors, and today I am going to continue playing the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. This will be our second episode of the game. And uh, where well, we left off in a pretty good spot. We have a few mysteries to solve here. We have to find this guy, Leonard, Leonard Shoulder, that uh, brought us here to check out a barrow that was supposed to be a legend here. But not only Mr. Shoulder didn't appear at the appointed date, uh, but um, the supposed uh, Hope Barrows hope's barrow isn't a legend around here the barkeep who has lived all, all, all his life in this town have never heard of it so it's quite curious if you ask me so we are going to start uh, now investigating these mysteries but before i wanted to remind you that if you like my content remember to smash that like button down there you know the thumbs up button so you let know youtube that you like my content and also consider subscribing to my channel uh, so you know when I upload the videos. Um, I upload a wide variety of games and reviews and types of content. I do video games, horror, indies, shooters, adventure, uh, RPGs, even tabletop RPGs. So there is something here for you surely. Also, I have a Twitch channel. I stream uh, in Twitch and I'm in the road to affiliate. So the link is down below. You could go there and drop me a follow. That would be great. And I also love to have you there when I'm live to chat, chill, uh, lurk or whatever you want. And with all that stuff out of the way, let's dive right in into the game. Okay, we're left with uh, Mrs. Bateman and Thomasina Bateman. I'm going just going to tell, tell her, uh, Mr. Miss Bateman. I'm not going to call her Thomasina every time. I can't call her Tom, because, you know, that would be confusing. Uh, we could call her Cena, maybe? I don't know. Anyway. I don't well. need to carry the bowl around with me. All right, perfect. Just, just asking. I've stored my case in there. A box right. within a box. So. What? Boxception? Okay, bad joke. Please, don't click away. I've hung my dress inside. Aside from that, yeah, the I remember. Is empty. There's a candle. The candle has melted. It's not much use anymore. Perhaps Mr. Kemp will replace it this evening. I hope so. I don't want to take the painting with me. But I want to examine it. Okay. A painting of surprising quality. It portrays a rocky outcrop overlooking a vast moor. Perhaps a local landmark. Good morning, Miss Bateman. Good day, Stanley. Yeah, the place is empty now. It's Mr. Stanley Kemp, the proprietor of the Plow and Furrow. He has the serious and worn out facial expression of a man who deals with drunkards on a nightly basis. Did you sleep well, Miss Bateman? Tell the truth. I should tell him about that cat. Yeah, okay. Let's Not really. Uh, I have the rather queer recollection of a cat entering my room last night. A cat, you say? Yes, an odd-looking grey one. I must have been dreaming, as I locked the door and windows before I went to sleep. I saw a similar cat in the lavatories while searching for Mr. Tillett. Ah, Herbert. Oh, he's a harmless thing. He comes in now and then searching for scraps. Indeed. Seeing him in the lavatories must have conjured up the strange dream. The mind is capable of manifesting frightful things, Miss Bateman. I'm happy to report the rain of yesterday has lifted. It's a clear morning outside. Crisp. I've prepared a room for your assistant. What time will he be arriving today? His train will get in around midday. Kenneth will also be bringing my excavation equipment. Oh, I. What does that entail? Picks, shovels, buckets, lighting and such. He usually packs it in a large crate. Come to think of it, I'll need somewhere to store it. You're welcome to use the alley behind the inn for any such bulky items.
Is it safe to do such a... That's what I was thinking, just in the alley? My equipment is valuable. That sounds capital, thank you. I don't see what the alternative is. I'm going to ask. Is it safe to do such a thing? I can assure you the local folk are not thieves, Miss Bateman. That's not what I... Now, now, say nothing more of it. Thank you, Stanley. I'll let you get on with your day. I'll be back with my assistant when he arrives. Miss Bateman? Yes? I've something I wish to get off my chest, as it were. I've been tossing and turning all night, Miss Bateman. I feel rotten, I really do. What on earth are you talking about? As you know, I like to run an honest establishment. And well, I have not been honest with you, lass. Okay. I do know of Hobbs Barrow. Oh. You do? I do. Many here do. There are stories tied to that place, you know. If I've learned anything in this life, it's that some stones are best left unturned. Oh. Old Leonard's shoulder is someone to be wary of too. I can't tell you what to do, lass, but you'd best avoid him. But I came here exactly for that. Why must I be wary of Mr. Shoulder? The man has a certain reputation. For what? You've seen it already. Were he here to meet you last night? No. Precisely. A man not to be trusted. Where does Mr. Shoulder live? I can't say for sure. As I think I told you last night, he's a quiet man and keeps to himself. He only comes in here to collect his post. Leads me to believe he lives a fair distance away. And certainly not in the village itself. Might someone around Bewley be able to help me find him? You could ask around. As I say, lass, Bewley folk mean well. Don't forget that. Why lie to me about Hobbs Barrow? I know, lass, I know. I feel dreadful. But why? What are these stories you speak of? I really can't tell you more. If you insist on visiting that place, you'll have to seek out Mr. Shoulder. He brought you here. He should be the one to tell you. I must say, Mr. Kemp, this is all quite puzzling. I've never let local superstitions stop me in the past. I pride myself on being a woman of logic and reason. I have no time to waste on such matters. As I say, seek out Mr. Shoulder. Mm. He can tell you more. Okay. Where is Hob Barrow? Where is Hobbs Barrow? Uh, I don't know. I say that on my mother's grave, Miss Bateman. Hmm. I now find that hard to believe. The moors are vast, lass. I tend not to go wandering out there. Grown man could lose himself and not be seen again. Hmm. I shall return later. Good day to you, lass. It seems I may be fighting a battle against some sort of local superstition. Is there a single barrow in England that doesn't have some ghastly tale attached to it? Hogwash. All of it. Uh, a few hours until Kenneth arrives. I should use this time to find Mr. Shoulder. Map unlocked. Where should I go next? Railway Station, Beulah Village Square. Who is this guy? The man. He looks like a rather shady character. Hello. But we are still talking to him. My name is Thomasina, and you are? Now then, that's none of your concern, love. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? I don't know out about no Leonard Shoulder. What can you tell me about Bewley? Not much around dear love. Not worth mentioning to you, like. I see. What do you do around here? Hey, up. You're not scared of sticking your neb in. I look after the churchyard, dig the graves. <laughs> what can you tell me about the church? Aye, it's a church. Quite. What can you tell me about Hobbs Barrow? Not to be found digging around in those things. You know of local barrows then? Don't concern yourself. Goodbye. There are. Not very helpful, but okay. 
into the alley. It's I could tether a horse here if I had one. Sturdy looking barrels, no doubt used to store ale. The door leads into the rear of the inn. We that's this is the way we followed yesterday. This guy, is a this? humble local dwelling. Let's ask about the no owner. Nobody home. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. Yeah, we are not going to go that way then. Oh, this is a woman and a kid. The young woman looks extremely bored by it all. The little whelp looks determined to slaughter the very air itself. Good day. Hello, miss. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Betty. Nice to meet you, Betty. What are you up to? My brother is practicing his sword fighting technique. I'm to watch him until he ties himself out. I'm tireless! This time last okay. month it were all about his teaspoon collection. This month it's swords. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? No. Are you sure? Yes. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? Our parents don't like us talking to strangers, miss. So you know of it? No. Are you sure? Yes. Goodbye. Bye, miss. How chatty is this girl? Hello. Y yes. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Douglas. It's a pleasure to meet you, Douglas. That's a great sword technique you have. Thanks, miss. Mr. Crozier's gonna make me a real one when I turn 12. I'm preparing myself to fight the lantern worm. The lantern worm? What is the lantern worm? It's gonna come back and get us all. John Lantern thought he killed it at the River Ware, but my father told me it still lives. We must all be prepared. The Lantern Worm isn't real, Douglas. Father just told you that to get you out of his air. Not true. I saw it slithering out by the beck. Like a giant eel, it were. I ran home so fast I thought I would fly. Sorry, miss. My brother has a vivid imagination. Children often do at his age. I'll keep training. You will all thank me when I thrust my sword deep into its fat belly. Douglas. All right. This lady doesn't want to hear your nonsense. Do you like living in Bewley? Yeah, I do. Are you from the city? I'm from a long way away. You must have come on the train. I love watching all the steam mm. puff up into the sky. Have you been on the train yourself? No, miss. Our parents don't have the money for train tickets. Father says we have all we need here in Bewley. <sighs> Perhaps this nice lady would like to take you away with her on the train. No, I need to stay and protect Bewley from the lantern worm. Oh, and who's that Mr. Crozier? Who's Crosier? Mr. Crozier? He's a blacksmith. His forge is just over there on the other side of the square. Don't you think 12 years of age is a little young for a real sword? I'll be a master swordsman by then. Do you know a man called Leonard Shoulder? That's a funny name. Have you heard of Hobbs Barrow? What's that? A local burial mound. Our parents don't let us wander far from the village. What's a burial mound? Don't you mind about that, Douglas. Goodbye. Goodbye, miss. A plaque. A small plaque beside the door reads Vicarage. So this is the guy who's in charge of the church, I suppose. Mm. I don't think anyone is home. 
Well, people keep busy around here. Oh, this house is all boarded up. The building is in a dilapidated state. The sign is in a shabby state, but the shop appears to be a cobbler's. Let's try to talk to him. Hmm. No one here. Come on. Not even the shops are open? That's weird. A local dwelling. I don't think anyone is home. Okay, let's go through here. This house looks pleasant. Okay. A storeroom of some kind is rather empty. I don't think anyone is home. A plaque. Royal Mail, Postmaster's residence. This must be the local post office. Yeah, but everything is close to here. Quite an ornate construction. This was created with pride and care. A car. This must belong to someone. I should leave it alone. Perhaps this belongs to a merchant. The bucket has seen better days. This must be Mr. Crosty or the black the blacksmith. Oh, fuck. A fantastic specimen. The blacksmith is toiling away. Good day. Yes. Mr. Crozier, I presume. Aye. George Crozier, at your service. My name is Thomasina. Hi. Can I help you? Are you a Bewley native, Mr. Crozier? Aye. Born and bred. It's where my father's forge before mine. How is business faring? I do an honest trade. There'll always be horses needing shoes and farmers needing tools. You let me know if you need out made or mended. I'll do you a fair price. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Do you know a man by the name of Leonard Shoulder? Oh, aye. Old Leonard. Have you seen him recently? No, not recently. Do you know where he lives? Why all these questions, lass? I need to speak with him. He invited me to Bewley. Oh, he'll turn up. I've seen him in the plough and furrow from time to time. But do you know where he lives? I need to find him. I believe he lives somewhere out on the moors. Can't tell you out more than that. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Do you know of a local landmark named Hobbs Barrow? There's a fair many barrows found out on the moors, lass. Too many to put a name to. Not a soul in Bewley pays them any mind. What can you tell me about Bewley? We don't get many visitors here, outside of market days. But there's plenty of work for the village blacksmith. Where are you from, then? I arrived yesterday on the train from London, by way of Derby. Oh, aye. I've heard about London. What have you heard? Plenty of factories there. Yes, indeed. The city is always changing and moving forward. Too busy for me, though, lass. I prefer a quieter pace. Aye. I noticed your spectacular fossil specimen. Oh, aye. I collect them. This one is called an... Ammonite. I'm impressed, lass. From the Jurassic period, I'd venture. Do you collect them too, then? My true interests lie in comparatively modern history. Oh, aye. Well, I do love a fossil. It's important to remember that we all end up in the soil eventually. Quite. When do market days run in Bewley? Once or twice a month. The next one is tomorrow. How oh. delightful. How Unless convenient. Unless your cabbages, they'll be not to interest a young lady. I don't mind a cabbage. Then you're in luck. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. Okay, this was a... Uh quite nice guy let's check this around a humble dwelling a humble dwelling mm, 
this way is to the train station but uh, my guy is not arriving yet so There's nothing here, it seems. Let's keep it going there. No doubt home to many a woodland creature. I've no desire to go rooting about in there. I shall see you later this evening, Jess. Well, I say, greetings, my dear. Yes, yes. Hello, sir. A pause on your beauty, for I shall see you again soon. Wait. Oh, who is that guy? Some nerve. Lady, you're blushing. I most certainly am not. <laughs> the men look like they've spent many a long day exposed to the harsh moorland weather. The men look like they spent many a long day exposed. Okay. That's sorry, enough. lass. No way through here today. Says who? Lord Pansley. Now get back before you find yourself under a fallen tree. My name is Thomasina Bateman. Oh, I. You're not from round here, Thomasina Bateman. No, just visiting. What is your name, sir? Horace. Are you in charge here? I am indeed. Tell me, who was that arrogant man here just now? Just someone passing by. It sounded like you knew him better than that. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but that's none of your business. What are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? We're chopping down trees. There is no need to be sarcastic. We're employed by Lord Panswick. He's ordered us to gather logs from his woods. That's what we're doing. These are his woods? Aye, his lordship owns most of the land round Beulah. Who is Lord Panswick? Our governor. He's the governor of the whole town. All right, Owen, back to work now. He lives in Bewley? Aye, not far away. But his lordship doesn't like questions or visitors. Now please leave us to our work. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? No, I don't. Can you let me get back to my work now? Not yet, good, good man. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? Can't say I have. Why are you gathering logs for Lord Panswick? By heck, you ask a lot of questions. If you must know, his lordship is repairing an old ruin on his land. We need the timber for the restoration work. How intriguing. What type of ruin is Lord Panswick restoring? An old chapel. I should rather like to see it. Not possible. His lordship does not welcome visitors to his estate. Thanks for your time. We'll be done by tomorrow morning. Come back then if you want to explore the woods. Okay, I suppose. No way you can go through there. Let's go this uh I think it came from yeah. Okay, this is the church. I suppose I will get lost if I try to Oh no, it's a nice creep. This is the back where the kids saw that supposed lantern worm. I do enjoy the charm of a babbling beck. Sweet little flowers. This young fellow looks miserable. She has a puckish little face. Hello there, my name's Thomasina. Yeah? How are you? Go away! Oh, how rude! Do you know a man called Leonard Shoulder? No. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? I doubt no. it. No. What do you know about Lord Panswick? I heard he owns the whole county. Have you met him? No. He lives out on the moor somewhere. But everyone does what he tells them to. Why is that? Because he has a lot of money. Goodbye. 
Good day, little one. What's your name? Hello, miss. I'm Jane and this is my brother, Wally. Lovely to meet you. I'm Thomasina. I'd introduce you to my dolls, but they're drying out at the moment. Oh, I see the dolls now. This is a lovely little bear. It's where we get our water, miss. It's good for drinking and cleaning. Your dolls look lovely, Jane. Thank you, miss. I love them very much. Today was their bath day. Wally doesn't say much. He's mordy with me because he's bored, miss. He thinks he's too old to play with dolls. I see. Where are your parents? They're picking apples from the big tree in our yard. Daddy and I sell them at the market. That sounds nice. But they don't mind us playing at the vet. As long as we don't touch the Ammon's horn. What's that? What is the Ammon's horn? It's over there on that rock. Do you mean the fossil? It's the Ammon's horn. Daddy said we should never touch it. It will make the god angry. What god? Ammon, of course. Explain that the object is in fact a fossil. A little education goes a long way. Or, go along with the Ammon story. She's only a child. No. An education goes a long Jane, way. Jane, this is a fossil. It's a horn. What's a fossil, miss? A fossil is an impression of a prehistoric plant or animal embedded in rock and preserved in petrified form. This particular animal was called an ammonite. I'm confused. It's not a horn? No. It's the impression of a long dead sea creature. Well, I believe my daddy. He doesn't lie to me. Your father is somewhat correct. For you see, ammonites were given their name for the Egyptian god Ammon. See, I told you. It's Ammon's horn. All right. My daddy is always right. <sighs> yeah, that was a waste of time. Do you know an old man called Leonard Shoulder? No, miss. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? I... Jane! No, miss. Are you sure? Mm. I swear. Goodbye. That's so... Bye, miss. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. I can't think of anything else. Remarkable. A gargantuan fossilized ammonite. This would look fantastic on my mantelpiece. Hey! Stay away from that! Don't touch it! It's bad luck to touch the Ammon's horn! I'm serious! Uh, fine. Well, it will have to be yet another time. Damp rag dolls have been laid out to dry in the dreary sun. Nowhere else to go then. This leads to the church tower, I presume. The doors look weathered but have stood the test of time. And I suppose this leads back to town, yeah. I, I was right, and this to the cemetery. Okay, let's talk with this lady here. Hello, good day. Would you like to buy one of these cakes, pet? What kind of cakes do you have? What kind of cakes do you have? I have some lovely baked well puddings. The sweetest marriage of almond and jam. I can tell you're not from around here, because if you were, you would know about my baked well puddings. They are quite famous. Alas, I'm not carrying any money with me. That's unfortunate, pet. I'm sorry. I, I can't give them away for free. The money goes to the church, you see, and one cannot shirk one's duty to the church. I understand. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? This is Duplancy. 
A pleasure to meet you, Mrs. De Plancy. Likewise, pet. Tell me about yourself, Mrs. De Plancy. About me? <laughs> what would you possibly want to know about me? I have been attending St. Edmund's Church my whole life. I always want to help where I can, so I sell my baked goods and all the proceeds go to its upkeep. This place means so much to me. Okay, and um, how, what, um, what do you do for a living? Your cakes look delicious. I can assure you they are. You'll not find better in the entire county. What can you tell me about St. Edmund's Church? Isn't it the finest building? It's been standing here since the 12th century. The box pews in the nave are very fine and date back to the 17th century. The door is open if you'd like to worship. Thank you, Mrs. De Plancy. Do you know a local man called Leonard Shoulder? Yes, I know Leonard. What business do you have with him? It's a long story, but I'm trying to find where he lives. I'm afraid I don't know, dear. Father Roach has access to the parish register. He might be able to help you. What can you tell me about Father Roach? He is a lovely man and an exemplary servant of the Lord. He's been the vicar of St. Edmund's for many years. Okay. Where can I find Father Roach? At this time of day, he'll be taking his exercise in Hearn Wood, to the west of the village. Thank you. I'll go find him. Be sure to listen out for his merry whistling. Such a jolly man. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? Hobbs what? Hobbs Barrow, a local burial mound. The only place of burial I know about and care for is in this very churchyard. What do you know about Lord Panswick? Wretched man. They say he is restoring a chapel near his manor. But for whom and to what god, I ask? Is he a man of faith? <laughs> I've barely seen him set foot in St. Edmund's. It doesn't stop him from acting as our God-given ruler. Stay away from him, pet. Don't get yourself tangled up in local affairs. I certainly don't intend to. But uh, something tells me that she would end up doing just that. Why do you call Lord Panswick wretched? He hides in that manner of his and cares not for his people. I've heard stories whispered in the pews, you know. What kind of stories? That he shoots people on sight. Anyone that strays onto Panswick Manor. Good grief. Yet he will walk into the plough and furrow and bear ale for all and be hailed as our protector. <laughs> I answer to God and God alone. Forgive me, pet. I shouldn't get so worked up. Not at all. I appreciate your honesty, Mrs. De Plancy. Where can I find Father Roach again? At this time of day, he'll be oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. Mrs. De Plancy is a kind, God fearing woman. Ooh, look at Trowel. The trusty Trowel, the Barrow Digger's best friend. Let's grab it. Excuse me, do you think anyone would mind if I borrowed this trowel? You help yourself, dear. Father Roach won't mind lending it. Just be sure to put it back when you're finished. Of course, thank you. It is more blessed to give than to receive. All right. Uh, before we do this, let's go to the church. Goodness me, look at these box pews. I've never seen any as tall as that before. Most unusual architecture, even for the Normans. The pews are contained within compartments that can be locked. 
I've seen a similar design in other Norman churches around England, but this is a particularly impressive example. Is that a necklace? More hmm. like a rosary. Someone has left a necklace it? hanging here. A, necklace. a silver cross. Sterling by the look of it. Maybe I can reunite it with its owner. The pews are contained within compartments that can be locked. I've seen a... Locked. Locked as well. I think they all might be. This must be where the local vicar sacrifices the newborns. I've no time for such things. A memorial list of former vicars. They stretch back several hundred years. A memorial list of former vicars. They stretch back several hundred years. This must be where the local vicar sacrifices the newborns. Okay. Suppose he's, she's being uh, sarcastic. It's locked. Yeah, I suppose then. Here lies Margaret Tillett, beloved mother, wife, and sister. Oh, Tillett. Here lies Margaret Tillett, beloved mother, wife, and sister. Could it be Mr. Tillett's mother? John Purchase, dearly beloved husband of Florence. Forever in light, Anne Kemp. Must be... Maybe a wife or mother of Mr. Stanley Kemp? Joseph Davis. Samuel Bryden. Death is only a shadow across the path to heaven. Here lies Elizabeth Farnaby. There is a fresh grave. This appears to be a recently dug unmarked grave. William Paxton, modest and gentle of heart. There's a plaque here. Margaret's lookout. I wonder Mar who Margaret is, or Ma was. Margaret Tillett? Maybe? Not sure if that's the wife or... No, he has a wife. He say he has, he say maybe he's, the, he's uh, Mr. Tillett's mother. spot to take a rest okay I've seen cairns like this all over England quite common I've seen cairns like this all over England, quite common. The locals might be alarmed if I dismantle their cairn. Okay, there's a cairn here. sure if these are poisonous or edible not me neither so let's see the moors stretch into the distance i don't wish to wander aimlessly okay ah uh, well i have a throw well and i could dig this this appears to be a recently dug unmarked grave I mean, I know this is a game and I have to investigate, but I don't have a plausible reason to dog to dig a fresh grave. So let's leave that alone. 
Okay, I'm trying to find this father, this big car. Maybe he's. Uh, oh, here it is. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? What the fuck? Oh, he does not seem that jolly. Ugh. What the fuck is wrong with me, man? What happened to this? Very sorry. Oh, the shame. This malaise will not pass. Oh, the nausea. I need your help, young lady. Tell me what you need. Let the blood from my arm. Excuse me? Cut me. I beg you. How I am going to cut you? The vicar looks dreadfully ill. Are you sure this is the only way, Father? I beg you. It's the only cure for this torturous malady. Are you sure? I bet it's the only... Well, I just... This trowel? The trowel's blade is dull and rusted. I need something that will provide a cleaner cut. Oh, well, I don't have anything. Oh, I have a to-do list. A bloodletting, but I need to... I don't wish to look too closely. The vicar's spectacles lie broken on the forest floor. Where can I find a blade? Ouch! The broken lens is extremely sharp. I'll grab it with a glove. Perhaps I shouldn't risk soiling this glove until I find its owner. Oh, well. With the handkerchief then... This handkerchief was a gift from my mother. I hope she will understand. This should work. Okay, let's... Got him. Are you sure you want me to do this? Yes, it will cure me of my ills. I shall do as you ask, father. He has Thank the Lord for my spare pair. Okay. Hmm? God bless you. I already feel quite better. I'm glad, Father. The rapid healing properties of bloodletting cannot be overstated. I'm Frederick Roach, vicar of St. Edmund's Church. My name is Thomasina Bateman. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay. Are you feeling better? Are you feeling better? Yes. Thank you. What ails you, Father Roach? I... I just ate a rotten berry. That's all. I like to pick blackberries for my supper, you see. They are quite delicious, as long as you mind the bramble. My apologies again. I wish we had met in different circumstances. Are you from Bewley originally? I was born in our very own St. Edmunds. It's quite the story. Do tell. My mother was sheltering there. As a frightful tempest raged. And lo, did her waters break right there and then in that pew. One could say that you were born into your role, Father. <laughs> Indeed. When my mother told me the story as a young boy, I knew that this was my calling. St. Edmund's is a fine building. Thank you for saying so. It's hard work keeping her in good shape. But our congregation is always willing to lend a hand in the Lord's name. What is it like being the vicar here? Every day is a blessing, my child. I have a great love for our parish, and the Lord looks after us. What about your congregation? 
Numbers have fallen over the years, I must say. But those that remain are faithful and full of his spirit. I'm looking for Mr. Leonard's shoulder. Oh, yes. Are you a relative? No, it's a long story, but he invited me to Beaulieu. And he didn't tell you his address? He was to meet me last night at the Plough and Furrow, but he never came. I see. Well, let me welcome you to Beaulieu on his behalf. Thank you, Father. Do you know where Mr. Shoulder lives? Let me think. It's been many moons since I've paid him a visit. Perhaps you could allow me to take a look at the parish register? No need. I remember it now. A fair hike across the moors. Could you please give me directions? I'll take you there myself. It's the least I can do after you aided me, so... Capital. Thank you. Just let me know when you're ready to pay him a visit. I'll be resting here for the time being. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? I can't say I've heard of it. It's supposedly a famous local landmark. I'm afraid I know nothing about it. Hmm. I don't think so. What can you tell me about Bewley? It's a quiet town. The railway line, which I presume you arrived by, is the only news of note we've had here for years. I've heard the new station has received a mixed reaction. <laughs> I've heard many a debate, it's true. But my role is not to adjudicate on that matter. I'm very busy in my own work, you see. What do you know of Lord Panswick? Oh, yes. A rather important fellow around here. His vast land holdings give many a steady employment. I hear he is renovating an old chapel on his land. Aye, I've heard such reports. He believes this to be a godless line. Something I wholeheartedly disagree with. To which god his chapel will be dedicated to remains a matter of concern. Why do you say that? Oh, my apologies. Don't listen to my oafish conjecture. Let us move on. Okay, I'm ready to go to Mr. Shoulder's house. But uh, I think it's a good moment here to wrap up the video because I suppose this is going to be another chapter and more talking. So uh, better save that for a fresh and new episode of the discovery of Hobbes Barrow. So let's wrap it up here. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. Thank you for watching this episode. And uh, well, if you are still here, I suppose you like the content so please remember to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel there is a lot of content i upload here varied a loose variety of uh genres and uh, games there is something here surely for you so that's it thank you again for watching and i will see you on the next video bye bye